Back in 2008, I was pulled over for an expired Tim tag. Um, I didn't have a driver's license, so I gave them my information, they ran my name, and they, uh, they said that I had a warrant for a traffic violation that I failed to show up to court for. They arrested me, they took me in, they booked me, and uh, as I was getting processed, the officer that was processing me or whatever, you know, asked if I was born in the United States and I told him, you know, no, I would, I'm not born in the United States. Um, I guess, I don't know what the laws were back then, but I guess, you know, they were supposed to, they're supposed to like call ICE or something. So, you know, he called immigration uh, while I was in my cell. They called me out of my cell and I got on the phone with immigration. They started asking me, you know, all my personal information, date of birth, name, uh, my my mom and my dad's name, their, their date of birth, all their information. Um, so I gave them all the information that they asked for. I hung up the phone. They placed a hold on me. About a month later, that's when I finally um, got out of immigration custody. I was released in like around November 2008. And my case went on for about two years. So it went on from about November 2008 to about like April, May 2010. Um, that whole process was called cancellation of removal, which, you know, you have to prove to the courts that if you are deported, your family will suffer extreme hardship, which I feel like my lawyer, you know, failed to do. So that case was denied. After it was denied, you know, they gave me the opportunity to leave voluntarily. But at the time, my wife was pregnant. We were trying to just get our lives together with everything going on. And I just decided to stay. I decided to stay because my wife was pregnant at the time and I can't leave my wife pregnant, you know, and have her do it all by herself. And as the years went by, you know, I just lived my life. I was working on and off jobs, just being a family man, like celebrating birthdays, all of that stuff. Since I didn't leave voluntarily when they gave me that option, it automatically turns into a order of deportation, you know. Why it took them 10 years to, you know, come after me, I have no idea, you know. So basically when I got in trouble in 2008 and they gave me the voluntary departure and I didn't leave, that automatically turned into an order of deportation. So um, I was just basically, I was at risk of being deported back to Mexico. So that's when they came and got me from my, from my apartment. So, you know, for everybody out there asking, hopefully this, you know, answers your, your question because I know you may think like, you know, oh, well, a lot of people want to know why I got deported, you know, but, and that's the reason, like, I, I didn't get deported because I was, you know, selling drugs, I was, you know, running around with guns or breaking the law, anything like that, like, that was my situation, basically, and uh, I'm just waiting here, going through the process, you know, waiting to go home.